all right i was uh, attending an interview recently and uh, there was a question from an interviewer that uh, what is the difference between the running config and candidate config later on he focused that uh, what is this named config so this is just one of the very important question i don't say it is very important but yeah sometimes it they ask that uh, what are these actually and how they are used in the firewalls so today uh, our focus will be these config and uh, if we are doing any error while doing configuration then how can we revert it back it means that uh, whenever you are doing any config changes let us suppose you are configuring any policy and by mistake you delete an important security policy not important but still you deleted it but you don't want to delete it then how can you revert it back so today's session will be focusing on these error correction commit and all so let's see uh, that how can we do it so we will be doing the practically these things and seeing that what are the options are coming whenever we are making any changes and uh, how can we commit it so this is our gui right our palo alto firewall and uh, if i want to make any change let me create a zone so i go to network here in the zones tab i create a an option uh let me just uh, firstly brief you that uh, what it uh, no i am going to focus so that you can focus on these things you have to watch the points this uh, this commit tab config and lock these options i am going to tell as of now all right so first you see that this commit is right now it is grayed out you don't have anything to do here another option is this lock right and another thing is config so let's just see what are these first before making any changes so if i click on this lock lock option not a clicking just hovering over it and it is saying that no lock taken click to take a lock this lock is means basically whenever you are doing any config changes uh you want to make sure that at the same time no one else is doing the configuration changes so if you just hit this lock option here what it does you take a lock and no one else can do modification on this firewall so this is the purpose of this uh lock option another option is like config right so there if you click it here it is saying that save changes means that whatever changes i will going to do that save that shown changes or if by mistake you did some thing and you want to revert those you can revert these changes so if i click it right now uh, the revert changes it says no pending changes to revert because everything is there and nothing i have to change it so now let me just focus on this and let's create a zone here all right so i'm going to add and i am name i'm giving it as a trust zone okay just right now it's grayed out if i hit okay here you see that this commit option is now in the blue color it means that i can commit changes now so before going to that uh, let me tell you about the candidate config and running config so running config is the config which is basically running on the firewalls whatever the configs available in the firewall currently they are in the running config it means that using those configuration your firewall is running and based on those configuration it is making the uh, policies or the interfaces whatever it is so basically those config are running this firewall or those configuration are running on that firewall another config is like candidate config candidate config are the configuration whatever you have just made it like let us suppose i have made this trust here and mode 
uh, type I have created as tab, whatever it is. So I have made some changes, but still I have not pushed it to apply on the firewall. I mean, it's like that I have written something, but not applied on this firewall. So those configs are called as the candidate config. Whatever is the running, that is the running config and whatever the configuration you have written on the firewall but not applied or in short you can say you have not committed before committing whatever the configuration is there that is the candidate config so right now if i want to uh, revert these changes i can click it here config revert changes because i can uh, revert the candidate config whatever i have made so i can revert it and uh, I can see here whatever the preview changes I am going to see here, right? Means I, once I revert it, uh, I will see. Uh, let's just focus, uh, forget about that one. Just uh, I will show you later on. So I was just going to revert it. That's it. So if I revert it back, you see that whatever the tap mode I have created that has gone. So the candidate config you have reverted whatever you made it. All right. Now let's uh, do it. Uh, same thing once again. I'm going to create zone, make the name as a trust, all right, making the type as a whatever tunnel or let's say tab, not a problem. I created that zone. Now I don't want to revert it because you know it uh, that I have to write it. So I'm going to commit it now because I want to apply this on the firewall. So whenever I click the commit here, then there is an option for the commit all changes and commit changes made by me. So whenever you are committing any of the changes, you should be very careful. Always select this option, commit changes made by me. Never do this one because what happens that sometimes you forget to take the log and at the same time, any other user is making changes. If he is making changes and by mistake, you do this commit all changes, what is going to happen that whatever the configuration he is doing that is also committed here even he is not confident or at the time he don't want to push that but still you just do it so never do this commit all changes you can do it but until unless you confident but it is uh, never i have seen that nobody has done this commit all changes they always uh, do with this commit changes made by me because you know what changes you have made all right this is one thing another thing what you have you have option here preview changes change summary and validate commit so let's see that preview changes option whenever i click hit here preview changes hit ok uh, okay it is giving some error as of now but uh, basically what it does it tells you the config changes okay let just hold on i just uh, shorted it out and uh, come back it opens a tab and it exactly tells you that what are the config changes you have made so these are the legends basically whenever you are seeing the green color means that this is the current configuration right now and you have added this configuration means that you have created a zone as a trust all right and this network and the type is tab so this is configuration you are going to add it here and if you are going to modify anything then the color will be like this and it's deleted the similar color will be there so by seeing this tab you can visualize it that what exactly you are going to do if you are confident enough that you are making the right configuration, you can go ahead. All right. After that one, there is like change summary. This is similar to whatever we have seen, like, uh, but in the different type, like these are the things we are going to write it here. So there's nothing changed. And uh, that's what you can see it here. That it is saying you the difference that this is the candidate config. Right now we are having the config, but that is not written to the firewall and this is the running config so whatever changes we have made right right now they are in the candidate config once we commit it they go to the running config tab so now 
before committing if you have any doubt that your uh, commit may fail it so rather than just validating and committing together if you click it commit here first it will validate and then it will commit it right but if you have any uh, suspicious uh, you are suspicious about that that your commit may fail in the validation you can click validate here so in this case it will not commit it just it will validate so you see it here option operation that is validate only right so it is validating and it will just check based on its rule that it is logical whatever you are doing or not sometimes we uh, do such things that they are not logical to the firewall so it just fails those things you can close it and now we can commit it here so if i commit it now the operation is commit now and the status is active and it is ongoing you can see these changes from the tasks here there is a tab here tasks whatever the tasks are running you can see it here so it is commit is ongoing that is at the 98 percent as of now all right so these things we can view it here close perfect so now you are quite confident that you have made some changes you have committed it but as you committed it then you realize oh no i have made some mistake and this trust zone should not be here right then what you can do so there is an option to revert in the palo alto firewall and that is really good what you can do you can go to here device tab inside the device you can go to the setup and there is an option load configuration version so let's just see what are there just i click it here and if i click the drop down here versions you see that there are multiple versions with the numbers 25 24 23 22 and all and the good thing is that they are related to the date and time if you remember that at what time on which date you change is made you can select any of the version these you can say the configuration versions we are saving it here so you can go it back on the previous one so right now we just made change we can select just previous one here so let's take this 23 and click ok and your configuration is loaded so now let's see if we have uh, let's see that tasks are ok or not yeah tasks are completed and now we can go to the networks and in the zone tab we see that there is a no trust zone now so that's how whatever the mistakes we have done we can recover it but after that one if you realize no <laughs> i made some changes or it was really required you can do again the same thing you can go to the device setup and load the configuration version here and make revert once again and it will be back whatever you have done still not so i think i have to go to uh, one more previous one oh let's uh, stop playing that uh, now another thing what what i am going to focus there are you see that multiple options here there are that revert to last saved configuration revert to running configuration save named configuration save candidate config load and all right so load configuration version that is okay we have already discussed this part you know what they are and now the, the one option is there load named configuration snapshot so before that one uh, going this let's take one first what i'm going to do i'm going to save the configuration whatever the configurations are there in this firewall i am going to save them it means that you want to replace this device or doing any uh, critical changes you suspect that something can happen to the firewall so before that one we try to do these things what i'm going to do i'm going to save the named configuration so whenever the uh, this comes named configuration it means that you can give name to that configuration that is the difference only remaining your candidate configuration running configuration you are clear i have already told you and uh, this named configuration is only that you can give the name so i am saving this configuration it is like uh, i am taking a backup of this firewall 
and giving the name as my config and after that one i can give the uh, date let's say 1702 all right or the number whatever you want click okay so now the config save to my config 1702 but whenever you are doing some critical changes there are chances that uh, your firewall gets faulty or it does not come up or you are rebooting again and again and your memory is lost right so there are chances that whatever the config you have saved to the firewall that is gone because your firewall was not booting up or that is that your firewall is damaged so it is always a good practice not in fact uh, good in fact the best practice to export your configuration to your local machine so always export configuration snapshot so you can click it here and select the name whatever you have just created so i created my config 1702 so i click it now it will download in my machine so you can download into the local machine you can put in the recent live server or wherever you are having a shared folder in your uh, production environment or in a company you can put it there so that it can be safe now your config backup is safe right let me rename it my config 1702 i am making it as underscore 10 all right whatever i have backup i have just downloaded another thing that what your backup we have taken we have to restore it back right it might be the case that you made some changes something gone wrong or your another guy made some ch changes with your firewall and now you want uh, the to restore the config backup of before one month or two months you have that backup right so how can you restore it so in that case you can go to import named configuration snapshot you can click it here so there are two options either you can select it here right if i browse it here you can select it here from uh, whatever that underscore 10 we have selected right so click it here click OK whatever it was in the machine it has loaded to our firewall now this config has been saved so now we are going to load this named configuration it was just importing right we have imported to our firewall we have not loaded in this firewall so what I am going to do now I will load this named configuration to this firewall so whenever i go it here it will have two options whatever we have saved 1702 that was exported back to our local machine another whatever name i have changed is to underscore 10 so both the options are available i have changed the name so that you can uh, easily distinguish between whatever has been exported from our local machine to the firewall and this was the config which was available on the firewall but taken previously so that's how it is we can select any of them and click ok and that's how configuration is being loaded and the task manager for status you can check it right so i can check it here in the task status and it is very small config so obviously it has loaded successfully there is no issues on that one so one more thing uh, you have to take care whenever you are uh, X transferring the config from one device to another device just always always make sure that you are transporting the configuration to the same version same pan os then only they are going to work but yes that is always okay whenever you are doing the replacement with the same uh, version of firewall all right so this was it and i feel it it was very important uh, to start the configuration because if you don't know that uh, how to restore the things or what things you can do so it was very important to understand this thing before going to security policies and complex things all right guys this was it on the basic setup commit and config and changes so after that one i will go to the admin access on the next uh, firewall that whatever the admin privileges we are having so till that, bye-bye. See you soon in the next session.